So back during my freshman year of college for Valentine's Day, I went up out with a group of friends to, to a restaurant uh, to, to just celebrate Valentine's Day together. And so there was a group of us guys and girls. And, and so we were looking at the menu and trying to decide what we were going to order. I decided on the steak. And so the waiter comes over to take our order and, and she asked me what I wanted and I said I wanted the steak. And then she asked me a very reasonable question, a very normal question when you order steak. How do you want it cooked? Now, let me remind you, I was a freshman in college and this was probably the first time that I was ever ordering a steak without my parents there. And when she asked me, how do you want it cooked? I had no idea how to order a steak. And so I looked her dead in the face and I said, on the stove. <laughs> I know. But if that wasn't bad enough, I actually ended up ordering it well done. It was like eating a belt, right? It's <laughs> So it was actually several years later after Sarah and I were married that I began ordering my steak medium rare. And in my opinion, that is the only way to order your steak. The best steak is a medium rare steak. And so now that I have had medium rare steak, there is absolutely no going back. This is what Paul is getting at here saying, don't you realize that in Christ you have received the best? How can you go back to something that is less than the best? Something that is, is, is not great at all. Something that is subpar. How can you go back to this? So he says, and so if you died with Christ to the elements of this world, why do you live as if you still belonged to the world?